Good evening and welcome to the Predator CSI 2023 Alpha Las Vegas Open. We're almost there. The next quarter final is between Poland's Daniel Maciel and Kuwaiti Beda Al Wahadi. The referee for this one is Jeff McGee. It's best of three sets, races to four, of course, all the way to the final. It's Temple, cool shot. And with me in the booth calling the shots is a new one for me. It's James Giardis. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm very good. I'm really looking forward to this. I know. I've heard good things about <laughs> you. <laughs> I've heard great things about you, so I'm quite, I'm quite keen. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're all lies, mate. They're all lies. Yeah. So here we go then. The uh, lag has been won. All right, Daniel. Yes, yeah, yeah, Daniel played quite good in his last match. I watched him against um, Oliver. Yeah, he closed out the match quite well. We went to three sets as well, so maybe this one could be three sets as well. Wouldn't that yeah. be nice? Actually, he didn't. Uh, Bader won the leg. That's all right. That's all right. He can get to break first then. Yeah, Daniel um, actually reached the final of this event in Puerto Rico. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's quite strong. I like his style. Just floats the balls around the table as well, so. Yeah, big, tall Polish mm. lad, isn't he? Left hand up. Yeah, he's not small. And this guy here played absolutely fantastic in his last match against Mika Imminent, won it in straight sets. So, oh, did he? Go. You're the expert here, mate. You've got to describe all the action. <laughs> I'm just here to. Uh... Well, we can try. We can work together as a team, eh? Yeah, of course we can. But obviously, the biggest thing comes down to the break. If the balls are if the balls are opening well, and if they're making a ball and having a shot right, because it's kind of always tricky with the hand rack. Yeah, it's been the, shall we say, it's been the difficult part of the game, as we've seen in the first three days. Yeah, definitely difficult, but also makes it interesting to watch. Yeah, I'd rather that than a template rack and just same old thing every single rack. This is much more exciting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's, see, let's see, wonder if he's going to attack or he's going to play defence. I like defence on the shot. Does have, have to hit a rail. Bit of a tentative stroke for the first shot on the match. Yeah, he's uh, left a look at this and well, Bader up. Should not have been able to see any part of this one ball. No, he definitely had a good cluster to get behind, but he's yeah, he's definitely underhit it. I wonder if Bader's had any good results in these Predator events. You mean to say you haven't done your your homework? No, well... Yeah, he has. He actually got to the final against Alex Kazakis oh, in Wisconsin last year. Yeah. And uh, lost on a shootout. So, yeah, he's he's played in nearly every one of these, but if not every single one yeah. of these events. Yeah, I would suggest so. I was going to do my research, but then I got stuck at the bar. The table looks reasonably open. It all depends what's going on with that six in that top right pocket. Um, I'm not sure if it does go in clean. You might it have part of the pocket, James. Yeah. Obviously, the ball is getting clean as well, which makes the pockets play a little bit bigger. And obviously, being the TV table, it's a bit more slick compared to your usual club table. You might have seen earlier on, Dong Kwok Hong beating Shane Van Boney to set up a semi-final tomorrow at midday with fixed up Zelensky, the reigning champion, of course. And that's three times he's got him in a row now. He beat him in Poland, and he also beat him in the China Open as well. So he's uh, he's got a bit of a winning streak against Shane. Yeah, he's got Shane's number, OK. <laughs> yes. There's not many people can say that. No. Looks like he's trying to bump it. So unlucky. Mm. Has he still got it in the... No, he hasn't. No, he's only got an edge. Risky shot, but he kind of had to bump it because obviously he didn't go past the eight. Looks like we'll be seeing a defensive shot on this one. So how's your week been? Busy. Yes, I can imagine so. Match after match after match. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way, James, to be honest. I agree. He wants to really get behind that 10 ball off that short rail here. And he certainly has. And he's done it well. Hopefully he hasn't left his six on because these boys, they jump like demons. They're not scared of getting their jump cue out and trying to make it over long distance. Yeah, I'm 
I'm not sure if it's, I think it's the same as we were before. It doesn't go in that corner pocket. Yeah, it the looks ball. pretty similar. looks close. He's, he's getting the short stick out. He's called the six in the corner, so maybe we, not sure if we got full pocket, but it is potentially makeable. I better get my pen ready for a highlight reel I note. I wonder if he'll make it. I about to find out. Well, if he makes it, he's got shape on the seven. A bit like that. <laughs> what a <laughs> fabulous shot that was. Yeah. It was a good cue ball by Bader, but he had to make sure he bumped that six enough to not make it accessible past the eight. Because, like I said, these guys just jump like demons. No issues here. Wow. Fabulous shot. And first rack as well. Straight into the groove. <laughs> well... And the safety was good, right? It was a good cue ball, but he didn't leave. He didn't make sure he got a pass enough to make it not m go into the eight ball. So yeah. and I, you know, it, well, it was a good safety. You know, you don't expect your, your opponent to jump that, and it was so tight past that eight ball, James. And he, you know, to play it over that mm. distance, it's insane. Well, these guys are in stroke, right? They've been playing a little bit over the past few days. Great shot. In it goes, 1-0. It's always good to start, start strong in these matches. Because only race to four. You know, yeah, we've added the new set, though, now, haven't we? We've got it's best of three sets now in stage two rather than just the two straight races to four and a shootout after two. They've got a, an extra set. Well, at least a couple of extra up racks, to yeah. three, three, right? Yeah, then it's a shootout. Yes, definitely. Um, obviously, the the predator group is listening to the players, and you know I'm sure they would have suggested this, and and it's definitely a game changer, I reckon. There's a couple of players there. Yeah, you got and there's three players. Look at that. There's Chow Che Yu. There's Bean Hung. Bean Hung there as well. Yeah. One. She's from your neck of the woods, That's isn't right, she? Yeah. She's a lovely player. From Australia. For those of you that are wondering what that strange accent is, <laughs> it's it's English. It's me, Mark White. <laughs> <laughs> the English man. Look at that very, very right eye dominant chin right over the Jeez. other side of the queue. Look at this for a break. That one ball just flew into the side pocket, didn't it? Does he take on the two down the rail? I think so. James? It's funny how you made the second ball and the one also in that left-hand side middle. Yeah. It's a race to the pocket. Yeah, because breaking from the side, you don't usually make that second ball into the side pocket. It's usually the one you're trying to cut in. But in the end, he made it, so... So we're trying to cut this two in. Yes. Slid it in. Ooh. Oh, he's unlucky to catch the draw, isn't he? Hey, you just caught the two a little bit heavy. See how he just clipped that long rail, which then made the cue ball go a little bit wider. If he cut it in clean, he would have been fine, but I'm pretty sure he can still cut this into the side pocket. Just a little bit awkward whether he can still hold old shape or we might have to swing it around and take a longer cut on the four. I kind of like just babying this one in. Not easy though. Yeah, sort of drag it in. Take the pace out of the cue ball. He's trying to bump it. It's not too bad. He's got past him. He's got a shot. Be happy with that, wouldn't you? I think so. So is this our last match for the evening? It is. We're back tomorrow midday with our two semi-finals. Nice. Just to slow up, and it has just in time. Just he's looking off to a strong start. Yeah, you always hear about you know Fortunsky, Shevchik, Jusician, Zelensky. The list goes on, really, doesn't it? Yeah, you definitely got to give this guy a bit more credit, I believe. I do like his style. Kind of uses his rails a little bit. Doesn't like to overpower the ball too much. Get a little bit of purchase on this one here. I think he's on the wrong side. Didn't quite get, didn't quite get through that one a little bit. Pro obviously he wants to be above it so then he can just kind of float down. But now he's, he's going to have to swing this one a little bit around. Let's see how good his speed control is. Doesn't look like he's overly happy with that. No, I mean as, as we can well, see. It was yeah. well short. 
It's about three feet at least short there. And it all comes down to that shot before, but under, under, under drawing it. Looks like he's trying to cut it in the, in the low right pocket. Nice cut. 2-0. We've also got some ladies' matches going on in the Las Vegas Women's Open as well. So we're just going to nip out for a quick break, please. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. Daniel Massiel breaking off to go on the hill already. Yeah, let's see if he's making his... Uh, obviously, he's trying to cut that one ball like he did the last track. Let's see if he makes it again in the side. How many have he made on the last break? Three? Yeah. Just, was he, two or three, yeah. yeah. The one was chasing there, wasn't it? Well, this one's going to be dry by the looks of it, mm -hmm. and it is. Got a little rub as well, with not leaving any shot. I don't mind that break. But you, sometimes you just get a, a few clusters in terms of balls just sticking together. As you can kind of see, he broke from the right side. And there's yeah. no balls on the left, is I there? No, <laughs> exactly. All the pace and power of the balls going over that side. out played yeah not sure if the boys are going to be um, putting out at first visit here unless that's two two doesn't really look very makeable anyway maybe in the side pocket but we're going to see a little bit of defense here it's not a very easy shot though can he get the cue ball behind the five six yeah not sure if the one's going to bump into the nine though on the way out off that short rail but I'll be, yeah, actually I wouldn't be worried about the one ball, just be focused on the cue ball. Like you said, trying to f really weld it to those five and six. A bit like that. Hopefully it hasn't leaked out. No, I think it's, he was having a close look. And he's jumping. He's going to jump the edge of this. No, I think he'll be kicking out at two rails here, all jumping. Do you reckon jump? Looks a bit, looks pretty the only reason I know is because I know when he does that on the rail that he's ah. testing to see his, his jumping bridge. Little tricks. Yeah, little tricks. <laughs> it must be only a little bit of the of that six ball. Yeah, it's just the yeah. edge of it, right? Let's see what he's got here. Wow, it's a brave shot. Has he got cover? Not sure. Looks pretty tight. Then you might be having to jump over the edge of the five. Yeah. Interesting little shot selection there. I'm not sure if he called the one. It's a good hit though, regardless. Didn't very, foul. Very good hit. Yeah. As long as you don't foul, you're, you're always one step ahead. Oh, he just twisted that round slightly. Didn't bother about position, of course. Couldn't get to the two. No. Well, at least he's at the table. It's always nice to have a bit of control. Could even follow this through and try and use a four as a blocker, just like this. But he's caught it a little heavy. Hasn't left a shot though. It's always tricky when you've got a slow roller. Have you got a pick in this match? Oh, not really. I mean, as you said, you know, these players are playing great now. They've been building up to this all week getting in stroke putting behind the 10 
Is that a tempter? Yeah, we could be going airborne again. Well, the kick is always easy as well. Two rail kick. Yeah. Might call the seven in the side here. Yeah. Be nice. if, he kick, if he kicks at two rails, it'd be nice to catch the bottom side of the two so he can kind of push a two up table and then maybe slide the cue ball towards the three. That'll be, that'll be a nice shot. Because that four ball can cause a problem in terms of trying to pot out. You don't get good shape on the three. It's a nice kick here. I don't, didn't see him call anything, James, so it's just a pure safety. Oh. oh, he did call that then, did he? Because Maybe. Well, he looked as if he wanted it to go, yeah. didn't he? Maybe he did, yeah. It was probably worth a, it was worth a try. Good cue ball, though. That's the main thing. Has he left the shot? Yeah, it looks like he has. Another tricky shot long distance. Very long backswing, Vader. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Even on most shots, yeah. yeah. And even on the... That's maybe one of his little Achilles mm. heels, you know, that long backswing, even on when he's trying to slow roll. That's right, yeah. I did notice that before in the other match. It's like he tries to feel the stroke a little bit. Yeah. Gonna see a bit more defense in this game. And just a bit of a containing shot there. He knows the five's up table, so he's not gonna leave much. The cross bank isn't on for the sevens there. And now the four ball is makeable in the top right pocket past the six as well. Because obviously that I, I the seven moved a little, little bit before. Yeah, I actually don't mind playing this full in the face, sending the two round the angles and taking the cue ball up. As well, yeah. Yeah, let's see what he's playing. He might be playing there. Let's see this long takeaway. Did he call the seven? I'm not too sure. No. no. Interesting shot selection then. He kind of just took it on. And I mean, you mentioned the yeah. bank about the seven being in the way, so I'm surprised mm. if he's playing that he shot. Well why not it. call the seven? Yeah. He's just kind of, He's actually got away with that a little bit, but he's probably going to get put back in if... Now, it looks like it might be on in the corner, but... Yeah, not, he kind of just hit it, didn't he? Didn't really think of anything. Yeah, I don't really understand that shot, to be honest. Oh, what a great shot. He's such a great straight shooter, mm. Daniel. And not obviously with that, with Beta, right? Obviously with this, the shot clock. You know, in that scenario where you don't have much time to think, right? Got to make a decision. Yeah, where do you stand on the shot clock on keeping it 30 seconds for 10 ball and 8 ball? I mean, I think it's okay for 9 ball. What's your thoughts on it? I wouldn't have actually thought of it. That's actually a good point. I reckon, um, yeah, obviously 9 ball is kind of more aggressive play, right? 30 seconds is fine at the top level. 10 ball is very different. And 8 ball can be very different. It was probably the happy medium. Yeah, maybe Temple could maybe add another 10 seconds. Maybe. Yeah, that's, I, I've been asking the players that have been coming in, and that's been the consensus, really, like an extra 10 seconds or something. Because there can be a lot more safety play. You know, a lot more backwards and forwards, a lot more rallies. Yeah, I've never thought of it, but that's probably a good point. Well, it's more of a strategic game, isn't it? Oh, definitely. And Temple. And with the hand rack, there's a lot less breaking dishes as well, you know, a lot more, a lot less breaking runs. So, you, what's your theory? Another 10, you reckon, or 15, maybe 45? Probably 45 is probably a little long. Yeah, I think another 10 seconds is fine, but I also think extensions, 40 seconds as well. Yeah. Just my thought. Always interesting to have a little debate, isn't it? Yeah, of course. A couple of guys just sitting watching the game of pole. Mm, yeah, definitely. Your 30 seconds can be harsh in tempo if, like, if the rack isn't that nice, right? There's lots of safeties. Yeah, and it's much worse in eight ball as well because, you know, as you know, eight ball is so many patterns that you're no, that's right. having to look at. Mm. It's, it's really, really difficult. Definitely. Anyway, what do you think, guys, in the chat? Let us know. Not that we read it, but we will later on, is what I mean. That's right. We always like to do a little bit of a survey on what you guys are saying. So do you, do you believe eight ball should be 40 as well? Absolutely. Yeah. And the other match going on, on table one, 
if you want to go and watch that, Sanjin Perlovanovic is up against Vitaly Kasura. They're 1-1 at the moment. And you can go and join George Teacea and Tim De Reuter in the booth for that. For this one, we've got James G. Say your name for me. I never get it right. George Yardis. George Yardis? Yeah. There you it's go. Easier than you think. Yeah, George Yardis. Mm. James George Yardis and me, Mark White. That's us. Mark White. Hope you're enjoying it, guys. Again, he's cut, he's cut breaking right. We're hitting it full in the face from the side. He's made the the second row ball again in that side in that side pocket. It's kind of chasing that way. He's called the bank in the um, bottom left pocket as we view it right now. Yeah, and he's looking at getting over that side of the table for the two as well. There's an element of safety to this as well. He might Definitely. get cover, but he might also get shape on the two. Oh, look at this for a shot. Oh, it's got a bounce. Needs a it to bit. run. Beautiful bank, though. Another couple of inches would have been great. Yeah, he's very, he's very right eye dominant, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. six his chin right over mm. so that his right eye is right over the cue. But after he's shooting at this, is he no? No. Has it hit a rail? Yeah, the cue ball hit the rail. Oh no, it so. didn't. No, it didn't. didn't hit a rail. That's a big error. That's a big error. Because he could have locked him up very good there, right? Would have made it tricky to hit it. And then potentially steal the first set. But now, you've got to hit a rail there. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, you've got to feel for him there. Oh, this is just the tonic Bader needs. Yeah, he's got a, he has got a big, big swing, hasn't he? Yeah. Even on that little one, that little stroke. You wouldn't see Alban or... Villa, you know, take a big backswing like that. But what, what works and what works. Yeah, exactly. It's a very personal thing, isn't it? A bit like cues, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't see many issues here. A little stop shot, maybe a little pullback. Should be fine. Same thing with a six. Seven's pretty easy, easy isn't Lincoln. It? Yeah. I don't see I don't see any issues here. We Mark. might as well go home. Should, oh. we, get, should we go to the bar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for a green tea. <laughs> Just has to make sure he pulls back enough here for the eight. You know, you don't want to land short. Just pull back a little bit, a couple inches. Beautiful. Same thing with this one. You never want to be shooting the nine straight in. Where he's holding his tip there, you want to have a little bit of angle so you can, you know, either probably draw back off the long rail. A little bit easier. fine yeah even a little more angle would have been fine but isn't no issues here because you just always want to make sure you're queuing a 10 off the trail it's never fun shooting the winning ball off the rail is it no i hate playing off rails so one set point saved it's three one now a little had it yeah that's that could be a painful error you really got to hit that rail. So tomorrow's schedule, guys. It's a nice, easy day tomorrow. Midday, we have the two semi-finals. We don't know who the second one's going to be yet, but we know who the first one is. It's Dong Kok Hong from Vietnam, and he will be up against defending champion Victor Zelensky, high noon. And the other one will be at noon also, and then we'll have our final at 4 p.m. Oh, tomorrow. Early pretty early yeah do you have yeah. a pick for that one I I honestly think Hong's names on this trophy yeah he's, he's been he's been around the mark hasn't he he's certainly been playing some great stuff let's see if that two ball tracks towards that side pocket as well yeah it wants to doesn't it it did just a little bit low again no ball Look at this. Does he bank this one ball? I think he does. He's got to bank this, hasn't he? Yeah. Looks pretty close. As long as that three's not in the way. It's not. Two waiting to be got on. If it does bank this, if it does go, and the three goes past the eight in the top right pocket as we view it, I'm not too sure. He's got a good chance of finish.
it does go past it as well, and it'll go into the other corner That's pocket beautiful. as well. Good speed it? control, yeah. It looks like the three passes the eight from here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the four's right there, right next to it as well. Eight goes in the side as we're viewing it right now. Probably only really one shot. Eight, seven, seven to the eight. To the eight yeah. yeah, and making sure you land, you know, down table enough. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Yep, I like this. Probably just needs a little bit of composure after playing that average safety shot by not quite getting behind the eight ball in that last frame. Or rack. Do you play snooker? Uh, very rarely. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, oh, this is. Yeah, he's using a combo here, is he? Yeah, this isn't too bad because the, the three obviously is going to catch half ball, the four, and he should probably should have in the same pocket where he just potted the two. Nicely played. So this next shot needs to get decent on this five so they can get up for the six. Yeah. And then it's all about seven to the eight for the first set. Slightly the wrong side of it. So he's got a bit of work to do still, James. Yeah. It should be okay to swing the um, white two rails where he's pointing now. Um, high with a bit of, bit of right, bit of running, you know, swinging around the rail. Should be okay. He's close enough where it's not too much of an issue. Just underneath the eight, short rail. Yeah, beautiful. He's only using one. Did want to juice it up a little bit, but he's probably want to be a little bit closer. Yeah, he's got to draw this now, hasn't he? Off yeah. the side rail, back over. Yeah, he's got to let his stroke out a little bit here. Should be okay. Table's playing nice. Yeah, how did you like your experience? Yeah, this is my first time um, yeah, playing in the Predator events. So far, so good. It's beautiful. Your yeah, table's playing nice. Helps having the balls clean as well. Lovely people. There's no negatives, really. No. Besides losing. <laughs> That's right, you'll get used to that. That's Just right. <laughs> He's got to let his stroke out here. Yeah, a bit of left hand spin to twist it down. He hasn't gone far enough, though. Yeah. And that's the difference with a slick table compared to a club table. That's never going to grab on this table. You know, when you're playing in your local club, that's always going to grab the low left. Oh, yeah, you'd have gone down to the other short rail yeah. there, wouldn't you? You could have went to the other room, nearly. <laughs> going to see a little lock up here. Well, it's leaked out. That's a poor shot. OK, he hasn't left anything, but shouldn't have been seeing any part no. of this eight ball. No, that's right. I wonder if he can just, just touch it to that long rail. And send that wide up table. You don't want to bounce it out, though, do you? No, and you don't want to leave the, the Co combo, do yeah. you? He's left the combo, potentially. I see. It's Looks not easy, close. though. No, it's not easy, but... It would have been much nicer if he froze that white ball to the short rail, because now um, Daniel can, um, he can uh, dig out it a little bit if he has to. Yeah, he's playing it as well. Looks pretty straight, to be honest. He's just got to... Just cut it a little yeah, bit, eh? just a bit. It's pretty makeable, though. Oh, straight in. No shape, uh, though. Look, though. Can he play the cross bank? No, I think he's hooked. He made it nice, but he didn't have shape, did he? Oh, well, it looks like he's full ball banked, as oh, we can he, see. Yeah, he is. Well, you've got a couple of choices here. You've got to pick a pocket, right? There's no flukes. So no. I like the cross bank, yeah. Yeah. You, you can pretty much nearly just left side of full ball. And the odds are pretty the odds are pretty reasonable to make this one. There's that shot clock again. Yeah, sure it put him off. Mm. That extra ten seconds would have made a big difference in that scenario. also came up that arenas are getting bigger and bigger mm. these days and you're taking up five seconds just getting to the table <laughs> yeah that's right you need to be quick up your toes big shot this one in terms of the first set do you like cutting this in the middle or do you like playing in the top no, i love playing this in the top especially with a stroke like he's got yeah i think with his stroke with a nice loose long action yeah i think it's always corner 
Oh, it's beautiful. It was, I just never thought he was going to miss that one. I don't know about no, you. No, I didn't. He's, he's been knocking them in all night. Mm. Well, that's his stroke. Long, loose, smooth. Yeah. Likes the power of the balls. Because most players might have chopped that in the middle. Because then they can just kind of hit the edge. Yeah, just float it in yeah. and put cue ball off the top rail back down again. But this is beautiful. Yeah, well worth another look. Gorgeous stroke. He hits it nice. I actually got a message from his cousin a little uh, just before his match, his last match actually, and I didn't realise. I mean, I know the guy from my time I've spent in Thailand, and uh, I showed him the message. He said, "Oh yeah, it's my cousin." There you go. Bader, Small world. Ada just popped out for a second, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, which he's changing brake shaft. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's gone to his wood shaft. Or was that his plane shaft? I think it's his brake shaft. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gone from his carbon braking shaft to his wood braking shaft. Not sure why. Maybe a tip issue? Or maybe he wants to strike the balls a little bit differently? Yeah, maybe try it. Oh, Oop, pardon <laughs> me. There's got to be a reason. Spotted another Paul player in the crowd. Mr. Very Khalid. Yeah, Khalid. Mr. Mandy. Sir. Yeah, he's a legend. Lovely guy. Winner of the SVB yeah. Junior Tournament at the last year's US Open. Mm. He's a strong player. He beat me in uh, Poland a few weeks ago. Lovely guy, though. He's got, he's got a bright future for sure. Well, he's made a ball with that new brake shaft. But yeah, I'm intrigued why he changed. It's got to be a tip, right? Maybe he uh, wants we'll a softer tip. Him. Let's ask him. Mm. Not now, James. Sit <laughs> down. Okay. I was... I'm, if I'm it was halfway to the... <laughs> yeah, but the, the shot clock will stop, right? <laughs> Surely. I'll be back. Excuse me. That is the worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impression I've ever heard. <laughs> We're working on it. Oh, it looks like we're going to be pushing out here, hey? No shot. No view at the one because that five's blocking it. See, this table's quite open though, right? It's kind of whoever gets first look at the one. Yeah. That's good speed control just quietly. It's pretty frozen to that short round. giving it back I honestly couldn't see a shot there I wonder what Bader had in mind when he played that push because always right you've you've got some kind of you've got some kind of plan James haven't you if the opponent gives it back to you yeah you you know, when you actually play yeah, that of course shot. you could have some sort of idea otherwise you're in a bit of trouble with 30 seconds aren't you I wonder if he can it looks like he's trying to clip it into the four and maybe send the cue ball where it is exactly right now Think he yeah, more or less what you said. Yeah, good cue ball there. Got a, got a nice little rub with the um, three, but got a cue ball in, a, in an okay position. Again, we're going to see a little bit more defense here. Looks like he's trying to hit the left side of the one and trying to swing the cue ball short, long, and somewhere um, down table where that nine ball is. Oh, he's caught that very fat in the face. And he's got away with it. Guys, if you want to head on over to tv.kazoom.com, there's some fantastic matches that you can watch. Pick what? your table. Yeah, there's a few there, isn't there? Yeah, Pia Filler versus Alison Fisher steps out at me straight away. They're both on the one loss side already. Already? Already. And it's 3 0 in the first set to Pia Filler. If you want to watch that, tv.kazoom.com. Register if you haven't already. Spend a few bucks yeah, I to did. watch some yeah, great I did. racks. I, I did mine. And you know what? The yearly pass is definitely worth it, right? There's so many tournaments coming up. And now, Kazoom, yeah, exactly. Kazoom doing all of our events now. Every single table at every single event streamed as well. Sounds pretty uh, straightforward to me. 
That's a no-brainer, isn't Definitely. it, really? There's no point getting a weekly pass, right? You might as well get a yearly pass. Uh, what's it? Something like $90 or something. Is it 90 Some, euros? I, I think, think something like that, yeah. Well, he's leaked the one out here. He's got a shot. Oh, he's up. He's had a little bit of a roll, though. Yeah, again, a little bit of a rub. They're never fun when you've got a long distance and half ball and you just got to baby them in. They're not much fun. Well, he's caught the bank in that top left pocket. I think he's going to be playing more cue ball than the bank there. Well, what a bank shot this is. Or maybe more one ball than cue ball. It absolutely was, wasn't it? He was going all out there. He was selling out regardless if you missed that, I would suggest so. But I don't know if he's a one pocket player or not, but well, maybe you should try a bit of that. I think so. It's gorgeous. That. Do you play any one pocket? Uh, I played my first money game of one pocket at Griff's the other night. And how did it go? I lost. But then I got it back in 10 ball. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Uh, it's good, yeah. yeah. But in at Australia, it's very small. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Australia, it's very small. Yeah. Very, yeah, it's not, it's like um, straight pool is very small in Australia, it's just pretty much just all rotation and April. What about yourself? Can't stand the game. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, are we live? <laughs> no, listen, I think it's a, I think it's a very skillful game. It's, oh, definitely, it, I just don't like watching it. I've played it, I, I quite enjoy playing a little bit of it, yeah, 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 but I'd rather play rotation oh definitely yeah. it's a great game right very strategic so many moves that people would never even think of that the best players have up their sleeve yeah it's a very very clever game and i respect it oh, i just sure. don't really want to play it or watch it <laughs> i love it <laughs> yeah unless we're good at this as good as the top guys right and then we'll play it or and watch it maybe <laughs> but it's definitely a different game so from that poor safety at three love, it's now three all. Yeah, and I good think thing. Daniel is going to take a, a break, and he needs to because he's lost his way slightly. Okay, let's show you a few highlights, guys, while they go for a break, and let us know what you think of these bunch. He, he went real the first. Floor. He, yeah, I know. But he didn't even hit the floor. I thought he was going to yeah. hit the floor, but he hit the one side. Oh, he's in the one rail. That's right. Perfect. Oh, beautifully played. Didn't see him call anything. Oh, he has got it. He's got it. He did call it. We'll soon find out. He has. He's called the 10. He's called the 10. He's got the 10. What a shot. Straight in and around. Look around at this, the look world. at this. He's going to get right on the threes. He nudged the three out over the side. He's perfect. See? Yep, there you go. Nice shot. I think he missed this tree, George. Oh, catch. look at this for a shot. Beautiful shot. Or yeah. the combo, either one. Yeah. Depends where he ends up. He makes the bank. Very hangable, too. Oh, what a cut that was. Again, this is a lot of power in this. Oh, how good did he hit that? Brilliant. Real. Oh, my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. Hell of a shot what a right shot. There. Shot him completely out. I like and that shot. I, I like that shot. How he hit this one. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very well executed. Look at that. Wow. How well does this kid think? Skyler? Yeah. He's banked it in. Welcome back. Players aren't back yet, but we might as well have a look. These young ladies warming up for their upcoming matches. On the left, young Kennedy Mayman. And on the right, at least, well, they're actually involved in the match. Elise Kiu. I'm not sure who she's up against, I'm sorry. I reckon they got us covered. 
Or maybe me, just me. Maybe you'll be better than I think, Mark. What's that, mate? I reckon they got us covered on the table. Oh, absolutely. They might have to spot us a seven or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be playing them for money, put it that way. Oh, double kiss there. And look at all on those four ball. look at all those seven footers in the background. And that's just one of these rooms, hey. There's three or four of them, isn't there? Yeah, there's four rooms total. There's three rooms with Okay, right. Let me go through them okay. then. So oh, let me have a listen. We've got the main room which is where the stream number one table is and we've got 110 predator bar box seven foot tables in there and then plus the 14 nine foots that we're using including the arena then in total there's 310 predator bar box tables in use there's our referee jeff mcgee the main man himself so and going on in the main room tonight, we have 894 teams. Just imagine that. <laughs> There's around 7,000 queuists, James, under this Rio roof at the moment. Plus, we've got the three cushion UMB World Championships going on, mm -hmm. on 10, 10 by five, three cushion Has tables. that started yet? It started today, oh. qualification started today, yeah. You might go watch some. Yeah, it's very interesting. It, it's totally different to pool, as you know. Mm. I'm not just talking about the game. I mean, the etiquette of it. It's more like snooker. They wear proper vests, waistcoats, you know, and yeah. it's dead silence. Talking is prohibited, frowned upon. <laughs> so we, sh we probably shouldn't go in there, then, me and you. Well, I'm banned because I sneezed in there last year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's highly regarded in Korea. It's absolutely huge in Korea three cushion they actually have two dedicated channels 24 hours a day showing nothing but three cushion that's incredible isn't it just amazing so we've got our both players back because i'm running out of things to say i'm <laughs> glad they're back to be honest it's a good looking table though isn't it i think it's sexy looking mm. yeah it's a, it's called the apex and i call it the apexy sexy <laughs> love it Well, we got 3-3 three, three from 3-0. Three, yeah, this guy's a, a battler, and he knows how to win in this format because he's reached one final already against Alex Kazakis back in Wisconsin last year. Oh, four railer was so close. Struggling with this break still, though. No ball. Hit him right, just didn't make anything. Look, they opened pretty good as well. Yeah, I mean, look, four railer went close, the one went close. And the six in the side, and caught the a couple of jaws. Side. And there's an opening shot as well. But the two is a bit funky. Yeah, but would he consider the 210? I doubt it. <laughs> would be nice though, wouldn't it? Well, he's going, to, he's going to make it past the four. Yeah, it actually goes, it actually goes in the side, look, doesn't it? Past yeah. the nine. If he can get on it, it would be nice. Um, that's the play. Get on the two in the side. Well, what did you say about 210? No, it actually goes, look, past the ten now. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little funky. I think me calling that 210 is a good indication to you of how good i am at this particular game i think yeah. he's got headphones as well i'm not i'm not here <laughs> for my uh, i'm not here for my for my shot calling that's your job james yeah i reckon he's going to play safe behind the three here basically hit it full in the face draw the cue ball a couple of inches oh that's an aggressive shot there he played it past the 10 didn't he? it wasn't it wasn't easy though no it didn't it didn't have a full pocket i didn't think no and that's where the shot clock is huge right he's got a tricky shot can't settle yourself you're not sure whether you want to maybe play defensive or aggressive, then all of a sudden, bang, you run out of time. Yeah, and then you just play a panicky shot, which is a mixture of all those shots that you were <laughs> thinking about doing. It happens so often, doesn't it? Yeah. And he's had a look at this in the side. Looks like it passes the nine. Causes extension. So it's 30 seconds extra as well, isn't it? Yes, with the extension. Yeah. yeah. Pia Filler has taken the opening set against Alison Fisher. Wasn't an easy shot. Had to play shape as well. Couldn't just make it, right? 
And I wasn't even sure if he was a full pocket past that nine. And it looks like Daniel's got a really good chance here. They're 2-2 two -two on table one. Sanjin Perlovanovic from Bosnia and Herzegovina with Patsura from Ukraine. Level 2-2. Two -two. Here, a real good chance now, and he must take this chance, James, surely. Oh, he's got to. From 3-0 up. Yeah, I don't... He's just really got to get good shape on the five here, then they're all pretty nice connectors, to be honest. A little bit short, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, I don't see any issues here, to be honest. You can even just float this one in, or you kind of swing it around the angles. Depends how good you like in your touch. Yeah, I like going low right here and yeah. swinging it around the angles. Lead the six into the other side pocket. Yeah, I like that as well. Let you stroke out a little yeah. bit right. Perfection. It's pretty good. Oh, just a okay. hair short. But An inch short. Though. Yeah, it should be fine though. Nicely played. Probably a better way of playing. At least you're queuing the ball, right? You're not being tentative in the last frame. Yeah, you're not going to decelerate on it, are you? No. That's fine. Just a little hold shot. Yeah, he just wants to make sure he has a little bit of angle on this eight ball here. Yeah, I don't see any issues, to be honest. Should be fine. Yeah, big tall guy, long levers, gets through the ball nicely. Not sure if he wants to be queuing over the nine ball, but I don't think it's an issue there. Yeah, he's okay, left hand up. Looks like a one set to zero to me. Yeah, with Bader, there was a, it was a tricky two ball on the side, wasn't it? It wasn't easy. Because he also had to play shape for the three, which made it a lot more difficult than just making the ball. Used all the pocket there. Yeah, just he wanted to cheat the pocket just a little bit, didn't he? Just to make sure he stayed away from that side pocket. And in it goes, and the first set goes to Daniel Maciel of Poland. Well, it was, uh, he went out like a train to start off with, then Bader came back at him. We had a few racks, James, didn't we, that were very, very tight and little safety battles and oh, definitely. mixed in yeah. with loads of mistakes as well. Yeah. It's, it's, you've got to say that as well. That's temple for you. Yeah. A completely different game. Yeah, I love. What do you prefer to play? Uh, oh, definitely 10 ball for sure, yeah. It's just more interesting, right? More safety play. There's a lot more misses as well, right? Because everything's more trickier. You know, sometimes when you play 9 ball, right, you can be making 2 3 balls and if it can be easy layouts in 10 ball, that's very rarely the case. There's like always issues. Let's see if that five tracks towards that left side pocket. Well, the one almost went. Can you kind of cut those a little bit more. Nothing doing. No shot though, either. It's always nice when you break dry and you leave nothing. Yeah, but he's left a, a, a nice opportunity for a safety here, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, cue balls could be coming down behind a 10 ball here, surely. Yeah, you could, you, even, you could even bounce it out and just use the 5-4 as a blocker as well. Just bounce it out towards the side rail. Yeah, like this sort yeah. of thing, and yeah. Try and use the 5. So you always want to freeze it, though. You know, you always want it to be jamming it up, don't you? He's, he's actually left a hole. Jam up makes some great shirts, and they're one of our sponsors, along with Seabirds, of course, if they need anything pool related go to seabirds.com they've got everything on there anything you can think of pool related 
And rums of Puerto Rico. Have you been to Puerto Rico ever? No, but I'm well, still waiting to try the rum there. The home of rum. Mm. They've actually got a factory there where you can go and have a, have a see how it's all made and have a few samples. I'm sure you'd like that, James. Shall we catch a flight tonight? Let's get the let's get Vegas <laughs> over first, shall we? <laughs> If I'm still alive after this, you're up for it. Yeah, you, never, for you it. never know, really, hey? We'll be back there for the Puerto Rican Open. And the world teams. Why don't you send a team over from Australia for it? Yeah, we were going to go to Austria last year, um, but it was ridiculously expensive. Because it's three players, isn't it? Yeah, it's two guys and a, a lady. Yeah, we're looking at, like... I think to send us three, right, I think it was going to cost us like 20, 20 grand USD. Just $20,000 up. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's got a little rub. Oh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> can, I, can I call a shot here? Of course. One nine combo. Oh, let me see. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you're up. Yes. That's one. You got one up on me there. Now, the first look, have we got any issues? Not that I can see. No, he kind of underplayed that one a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's not got idea on this two to get to the three, no. has he? Straight away, he's the wrong side of the... Yeah, a little bit tentative on that stroke. There's no reason. He should have been like, facing that right and on the right side. But he should be fine, though. Just punch it off that long round just above the side pocket. He's more of a stroker, isn't he? Yeah, he's a little bit tentative, though. He's, he's underplayed that one again, because now he's got to power this one um, off the left long rail with low outside. And avoid the eight ball. Yeah, you, even when the three is now, is OK. But now he can let his stroke out a little bit, hopefully. Nice. Oh, that's well played. When he has to stroke it, he's still good, right? But he, he definitely likes to smooth it more than... Better. Yeah, but I think he's prone to deceleration a little bit. Maybe on a that couple, as well. right? Yeah. yeah. I do like watching him play, though. He doesn't mm. mess around, does he? He doesn't sort of take too long. He makes up his mind, gets down a couple of feathers, and. No, he's definitely a smooth operator. I've never really watched him play too much before Puerto Rico, and then he made the final. It's a nice shot. Guiding it between the rail and the seven. Hold the cue ball, just draw back a few inches. Again, starting strong. He reminds me of a snooker player a lot, you know. I wonder if he does play snooker. He, he strokes it a bit like one, doesn't he? And considering how tall he is, right? Oh. Um, not sure I like the way he played that, <laughs> but OK. <laughs> considering he's quite tall, right, he's, he's using no extension on this cue. He's got to be at least 6'1", six 6'2", six maybe. Yeah, absolutely. In it goes, taking the first rack. In set number two, Sanjin Perlevanovic has gone 3-2 down against Vitaly Patsura from Ukraine. And how's Alison Fisher doing against Pia? Well, Alison, as we said, lost the first set against Pia. And Ali has taken the first rack in the second set. Already through is Eleanor Collado Manuel. She's beaten Sara Miller, also from the States, two racks to zero. And another American, Susan Williams, has knocked out Yvonne Bullman Hebler. Do you have a pick for the ladies? <sighs> You've got to go with Kelly, Jasmine. Wei Wei, Wei Chu Chen, you can never count her out. Amber Chen is another great player. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of strong there's ones, There's so there? much talent as well, you know, travelling now from Taiwan. and it's, it's just so much talent. There's probably 
10 people that could win that. Yeah, there's a lot of strong players for sure. All right, another dry break. Guy just walked up to the booth there. Sullivan Clark, isn't he the guy that knocked you out or, or beat you in the first round, yeah. is it? Well, we're rooming together, right? Yeah, that's tough, isn't it? Yeah. And then I bought a couple of things before we played, thinking, I don't want to go to jail, but I'm thinking, do I do something to him before we play our match, you know, get a little bit of an advantage, or... And then I just can't, nah, just, we'll, we'll just let it be, right? And then, yeah, he, he, he rolled me. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been making a few waves himself. He's had a few good results. He's, yeah, no, he's a few playing wins. good. Yeah, he's playing very good. Mm. I remember meeting him here last might have been last year might even have been the year before actually and we got chatting and we had him on our we were doing a, a podcast called the booth brothers here at the time and we had him on for a little chat yeah no, he's a good bloke for sure. yeah he's a great guy and uh he said to me i said what's your ambition he said i want to be world champion in three years there you go i have no doubt that's not a bad ambition is it no, he's very uh he's very structured very yeah, I give him full credit in everything that he does. He's very, very structured. Does everything his own way. Practices hard. Healthy diet. Healthy everything. Runs every day. What you're saying is total opposite to you. Uh, to some degree. <laughs> to some degree. Do you like to keep fit? I mean, you're an Australian. You're, you're sporty by nature, yeah, yeah, right? For sure. You're probably a surfer. I wish, but no, I'm not. I'm not a fan of water, but no, <laughs> no, no. I usually try and keep fit for sure. I go to the gym every day back home. Go for runs, but yeah, no, it's always the other things that can get in a little bit of the way, you know. Me being an extrovert, I don't mind having a, a bit of fun with my friends and family, including yourself, Mark. So he's just spotted something on the cue ball there. A referee will get his little gadget out. And the shot clock does stop, just so you know. That was quite smooth, wasn't it? Just gliding it up to the cue ball. Very nice. Well played, referee. <laughs> Very nice. Deserves a round of applause for that, I thought. Yeah, you just got to get it on the six now. A bit short. Yeah, w yeah, when he plays the slow shots, it's like he still wants to follow through a lot. Yeah. You just notice that a little bit? Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't really get the cue through properly. No. That was better because he could put a bit more pace in it and use the eight, right? Yeah, he likes his, he, def he definitely likes his stroke a lot more than Daniel. Yeah, yeah big, big, big long follow through. through, yeah. Maybe even bump it to the eight a little bit here, give a little nudge. Nicely played. Now he's going to have to, he'll draw off this, you can bet your life. <laughs> Left hand English. Over to the side rail, back over to the centre of the table. -ish. Yeah, you don't want to get too flat yeah, though. Yeah, he's gone a little bit straight on this, he's over hit oh, this. Big time, and that's, for that, and that's for that big stroke, it can get you in trouble, right? Yeah, he's going to put some juice on this, he's going to draw all the way back for the 10 into the side. Nice, no issues at all, but still, it should have been a lot easier than that, right? He's not scared of letting his stroke out, but he should have had a lot more angle on that nine. He should have just been playing the eight, sorry, the ten in the top left pocket. In it goes then. We're level in the second set. Still. So let's go and have a a little listen to the man of the moment, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. What's he got to say? Yeah, I feel unbelievable because last year I won a couple of youth tournaments. Uh, I won like a, uh, the first of the year, I won Derby. Then I won the World Cup pool. I won the US Open. I won the, the one elbow because I'm Bosconi. So it's, it was a, like a dream for me. But uh, I feel, I feel in the, at the beginning of the year, I feel like a little bit pressure because I, I had a good year last year. But uh, this year I, I won the World Nine Ball, so I feel really confident and looking for the rest of the season. But now I, I, I feel so focused in the Alpha Open and the World Nine Ball.
Well, I wish that had gone on for a little bit longer, to be honest. But okay, now look, he's breaking from the middle here. Time to crush him. Well, he certainly has. Nothing doing though. Now the both ball railer missed as well. Got a little rub. He's left no shot. I don't mind the change up because the break hasn't been working well for these guys. They haven't been making too much, so in terms of mixing it up and trying to absolutely bash them from the middle, why, 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 keep, why keep doing the same thing and, <laughs> and expecting a different result, no, right? Exactly right. Yeah, this rack here is all about the one ball. Look at that two, three, and four, James. Yeah, they're all right next to each other. It looks like we're going to be pushing down table past the nine. What a freezer there. Yeah, that's nice control. Yeah, and this might move a few balls around, depending how he plays it. Either way, it looks like he's going to move something. Mm. Could tie the... Yeah, I wonder if he's going to take it. Not too sure about this one. He's very aggressive. Yeah. Just trying to think what shot he's going to play here. He's thin off the right-hand side he's going, isn't he? Or half ball off. He's got a mind a five ball, though. Oh, no, he's just going full in the face. Yeah, he was trying to slide the cue ball towards a three and two, and try maybe trying to bump the three, then use a two as the blocker, but to slow roll that over distance. Yeah, not, not a good choice of shot, in my opinion. No, very dangerous. I, I, I personally would have given it back. This is going down the corner, is it? Or is he going in the side corner? No, it's yeah, corner, down in yeah. the corner, yeah. Well, we yeah. said who gets the one ball has got a good chance of winning it, and it looks oh, like definitely. it's going to be Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I definitely would have given that push out back, back to... Um, yeah, I couldn't see any easy, no. easy safety. The five was in the way of coming thin off the right-hand mm. side of the one. Go the other way, and you... You're in danger of doing exactly what happened. Yeah, the, the shot that he tried to play is okay, but you got to trust the table, right? You got to trust your queue in. Yeah, you got to trust be perfect. everything. It's got to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. Way, everything. Too much could have gone wrong with it, which it did. Yeah, and then he's pretty much just um, giving the frame to Daniel. His um, his touch is nice when he's um, in flow. Bounces out, six low 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 riders were viewing it. And then it's pretty much good night. Would have liked a little bit more off the rail. Yeah, and the angle he's got here, I think he's got to go into the seven here, isn't he? Yeah, it? he's got to bump it a little bit for sure. He's got the safety of the eight over the side in case he's only got the possibility of a combo. Mm -hmm. Or Karen as well. Well, that's oh, nice. That's lovely. Just slid it past. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, th yeah, this rack's definitely over. Yeah, I reckon Batter would have punched that ball into the seven and tried to move it right, where Daniel was just like a glider. He just wants to, you know, just slide it past. Yeah, just drift it past. Yeah, I feel like if he has to power it, he will, but he prefers to play at his own speed. Both these players have been to one of these finals. So they know the format. And they're only really another match away, aren't they? The yeah, winner of this will go through to the semi-final tomorrow. At both semi-finals are on table one and table two, obviously. Going to be streamed with full commentary from noon. It's high noon to see who will play in the final at 4 p.m. on table one. In addition to that, we've got lots of other stuff going on later as well. We've still got the ladies Alpha Las Vegas Open going on. And then, of course, the 10 ball, the world 10 ball starts Ooh. on Tuesday. I hope Exciting. you're going to get, get working on that break, James. Yes. That's exciting. And the table's going to be wearing in a little bit as well. Should be nice. When's the... Um When's the ladies fight? Is that tomorrow as well? No, they've only just started. They started yeah. a couple of days later. I believe their final is on Sunday, I believe. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? 
Isn't uh, today's Ma Monday, Monday? Monday. Yeah. Today's Saturday, right? I think so. I'm, I, mean, I don't even know what day is it is anyway. <laughs> what, year, what year is it? Oh. I only know by the, the events we're doing. I know it's 2023. I think so. <laughs> uh, no ball. Surprised Daniel's not going to the middle and trying to crush him. He's not really making much. No, he hasn't made much, has he? No. Does, so does, the, does the one pocket in the low right pocket? It does. Have to play the 2 6 combo after this. Oh, he's missed it. He's caught the 7. And he's, he's got away with it, too. Yeah. Jump, Jump, yeah. Jump through. He's got uh, to come out. Oh, and definitely. Jump It's like the one of those little stun runs. I'm surprised he just didn't roll it. You know, just let the cue ball just float down table more. I, I, don't, I don't think that shot's in his arsenal, to be honest. Not as not as well as Daniels, no. Looks like we're kicking at this. Yeah, he's going rail first. Well, no rail. No. I'm surprised at that, to be honest. You're surprised he didn't get the jump stick out? Yeah. He just needed more speed regardless. That's the second time he's done that. Last time it cost him three racks. Hmm. So what are we doing with this two ball? Are we playing a two six combination? Is he going to try and get on a bank, maybe in the low low left corner as we view it? He's just gonna play the, the combo by the looks of it. Or even I think he is he playing the combo or the bank? I don't know. Not sure. Somebody's got a phone call. Yeah, he's definitely going to the bank if he's loosening up here. Yeah. He can draw straight down where his hand is now as well. Oh, straight in. That's a beautiful. He's got to get he's got to get a rub here for sure. That's a lovely shot. Yeah, well played. Yeah, he was never going to slow roll that two into the six, was he? He was always going to be aggressive. Within his, within his own repertoire, right? Of loosening up his stroke. Yeah. You don't want to be queuing over the oh, eyes, though, do you? Look what oh. he's done here. And it's that kind of shot again, James, where he was playing a soft shot and still had that big backswing. He's overplayed it, right? He had to be nowhere near the nine. You agree? Yeah, absolutely. I still fancy him to make this, though. He's got to be bitterly disappointed. Oh, he had to be nowhere near that ball, though. He had to be short of it. And then, that's, yeah, that long, <laughs> long stroke just gets away with him a little bit. Surprised he, um, surprised he stunned it as well. He just didn't follow it. Because he had a bit of angle, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he got a little rub, though. Yeah, does he take on the bank? I don't mind it. Yeah, he's called the bank. He'll be playing the cue ball. Down, past, in between the rail and the five, just like that. He's underplayed it though, hasn't he? I think he played an element of safety, which is why he came behind the five there, James. I know, I like that, but, you know, he could have went all out, right? And played a little bit more shape on the five. I still back him to get this, but it's... A little bit longer than what he wanted. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more difficult than it could have been. But not when you stroke him in like that. Oh, well, that's okay. I thought he was going to end up a little bit mm. close to it. I guess he's in stroke, right? So he's not scared to leave himself a little bit long. You know, these guys have played a few matches. Is this their second match today or third? I would suggest second, hey. Maybe even third. Third. Yeah. third. It is third. Yeah. yeah, so the boys have been playing all day. nice beautiful speed control he's got a lot of confidence in his the, the, at the speed that he plays the balls it's beautiful can even let his strike out a little bit here more than fine he keeps it very simple 
And this is going to get him on the hill, these last three balls. He's not fancy, is he? Just does his job, plays within himself. Plays the game beautiful. It's nice to watch. Probably play the 10 in the same pocket, I would suggest here. Yeah. One rack away from a place in the semi final. It's across the, um, across the inside shot from Bato when he's there. Left himself hampered, queuing over the nine ball. And if he can make it to the final, it will be two in a row, I believe, because Puerto Rico was the event before this. Mm, it could even be an old, old Polish final as well. We'll be back, guys, in just a short minute. Have a look at this. I like the format and I don't like the format. It's like a hate and love, you know, because you don't want to go for a shootout, but you want to win. And sometimes you can't get away without playing the shootout. Um, but I won it once, so I feel capable to win again. Um, and I feel really great to be back here in USA because there is a big crowd. There are always people who are watching and it's just more fun to have spectators, especially a huge uh, crowd. And I'm really looking forward. And there's a new format as well for the final stage for the last 64. And I'm looking forward to play that because that gives you more zone not to play the shootout. And I'm looking forward for that. A very warm welcome back to an unusually cold Las Vegas. They had snow in the mountains here. Can you believe it? And it was, uh, it was pouring outside when I walked here. I should have brought an umbrella. Pouring outside, it's pouring inside as well. Yeah, sadly, yes. That is correct. Yeah, we've had a little bit of a leak in the roof here at the Rio, but it all adds to the excitement. Yeah, most people having a leak in their pocket at the blackjack table as well, I would suggest. There's none coming out of mine, that's for sure. <laughs> Dry break again. Oh, look at the eight and nine now. That's uh, <laughs> that's changed things slightly. Tell you what I like doing here, though. Yes, let's do, let's have it here. Well, eventually when you get to the four, leave an angle on the four to draw in to the nine and then the eight. Yeah. Calling the four, obviously, and that will leave you in position on the five. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. You could even play the four into the nine and eight as well. Yeah, coming the other side. Yeah, mm. good point. E either or is great, right? Yeah. What's he going to do here? Yes, the balls that might all oh, mind your sleeve on that. You could even bump them out of the way now and make yeah, them off. Yeah, just open them up. The, the ref won't even notice, will he? <laughs> He will, he's watching <laughs> like a hawk. Did he, what did he play there? No, I think he tried to play, he played, the, he played the two ball there, but he was trying to swing the cue ball around. He was just trying to leave it on the shore, uh, but then he was trying to swing it around the table. And he's left a cut on. I want to say a special hi to somebody. We don't normally do this kind of thing. It's Bader's cousin, Fahad al -Gwad. He's in Thailand at the moment, and I've played pool against him. Hope you're well, my friend. And I passed on your message to your cousin, who's at the table right now. Well, not right now. He's sitting in his chair at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> but you know who I mean. I hope you're well, mate. And I'll see you sometime soon, maybe even next month. Oh, oh that's unlucky. He tried to bump it, but he's fine though anyway, because he can um, play the four into the nine. You can see by the body which he's trying to oh. will the kiss, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Got his dancing shoes on. 
eight ball all day here. But you want to make sure you leave a shot on the four, right? That's pretty nice. I think our time's going to come to an end soon. Yeah, it might be a lot shorter than I thought it might be. I thought this could have gone all the way, the match between these two, because Bader in the previous match, in his last 16 match, was very, very impressive indeed against Mika Imminent. Never gave Mika the chance to get going, really. It was two sets to love as well, wasn't it? Yeah, two sets to love, yeah. Yeah, anywhere on the long rail is nice here, so you can kind of play short rail. Short rail and sort of slide over towards the six. It all comes down to that shot in the middle where you played it with inside and he landed hampered over that nine ball, wasn't it? At 2 1. That was pretty much his, his main chance in this set. Yeah, this is perfect. He's got an angle on the six just to bring it. Cue ball off the rail. He can come round three rails if he wants. Can go anywhere from there. Or oh, no, maybe not three rails from there, no. So straightforward draw. He might even just punch it. Mm, looks like he is going to use this short rail as well. Or you think he's just going to punch out? Punch out or short rail? Depends on how much angle he's got. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Corner or side? I feel like he's more of a side player in this scenario. Because he's a floater. I would play the side every day. I don't yeah. like punching him much. No. He can kind of just baby this one in, and it's good night. He's overplayed it a oh, little bit. Oh, he's gone too far. It's not over just yet. It's gone a little bit awkward. Oh, I was just about to go to the bar. Are we going to see a little twist? What are you backing in or out? I'm backing in. Yeah, I think he's going to make this. And there it is, it's all over, a fist pump, the handshake, and well played to Daniel Maciel reaching the semi-final. Well played, Beda Al-Wahadi, you've had a great week. He'll be back for the 10 ball. We'll be back tomorrow, 12 noon, with Dong Kwok Hong against Viktor Zelensky. This man on your screens now will be playing the other one, but who will he play be playing? Will it be Sanjin Perlovanovic? Or will it be Vitaly Patsura? If you want to know, head over to Table 1 now on YouTube, Billiard.tv. Just remains me to thank James. George Artis. <laughs> Perfect. And, and me, Mark. Mr. White. Thank Good you. night, guys. It was a pleasure. Thanks, thank mate. You. Thank you.